I need to get my second treatment of Apigard on, and I've been feeding some syrup. I just finished one yard, and I'd given those bees a gallon of syrup about four or five days ago, and it's gone. So these bees are pretty hungry, and you know, you th you'd think this time of year you can still see a few things blooming. There's sunflowers blooming, and rabbit brush, and some goldenrod, and um, some asters, and a few things, but there's really not much for them to forage on as far as nectar. And that may seem a little odd to some, but we're pretty much in a dearth out here in the Uinta Basin. And uh, what I see in my colonies this time of year is, even though I leave them really heavy with stores, they go backwards as far as weight and start losing weight because they're they're active, they're out flying, they're out trying to find food, and they're burning more fuel than they're bringing in. It's like them bring, you know, burning a gallon of fuel and only bringing in two cups. And so the hives, I, I see them um, actually go backwards in weight unless I give them a little bit of food. So that's what I'm doing today. Just slap some second treatment of Apigard on and give them some food. Give them a little bit of syrup and move to the next hive. I'm hoping I can do this without smoking them. They've the last yard I did, and they were just fine. I was able to get in and out without getting everybody all riled up, which is nice. I can kind of zip right through these if I. If that's the case. Hopefully these ladies will be cooperative this, this morning. Pretty good population of bees in this hive. You can see they're chewing on the on the little uh, card that I put the apigard on, trying to pack it out of the hive, and that's actually a, a good thing. Um, they, there's the more they get into it and try to mess mess around with it, the more they spread it around the hive. So that's actually a good thing. And these ladies have not been fed a whole lot in this yard, so everybody's going to get a full gallon of syrup. And I might have to do this. I'll probably have to feed them one more time, maybe two more times. All kind of depends on what the weather does. Um, if October's, if September and October is really warm. The bees are, like I say, they're, they're out flying, they're out searching for food, but there's not much out there for them, so we, uh, I don't want my hives to go backwards in weight, so I'm, I'm hoping to keep them, uh, just kind of right where they're at with weight, be in and out pretty quick. Bees don't seem to mind too much. Oh, except something's got this one down. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. They've they've pretty well just chewed half of that card away. And there's there's really no apigard left. Which is exactly what I want. I gave these gals a bit of a pollen patty 
mm, last week sometime. It's completely gone. So, nature can kind of fool you a little bit. You think they're in. You think they're okay that they've got plenty of food out there, and they really don't. Not not around here this time of year. Find somebody that doesn't cut their alfalfa and lets it go to bloom, then then they've got something to come in, but that doesn't happen around here too much anymore. It used to. This area used to produce quite a bit of alfalfa seed. And now it all just goes into hay production. So that's all I'm doing. Pretty quick, these are being pretty good. But they're looking pretty good. All in all, I'd say good population of bees. These two boxes are pretty well full. The bottom box is going to be very similar. If I can keep them looking this way for for another month and a half, then we'll be we should be in good shape for winter. Somebody got stuck in the goo. And if you listen to Bob Benny about feeding, kind of makes you wonder. Maybe I should be feeding a little more often than I do when we have these dearth moments where there's nothing coming in and around here there won't be anything coming in for all of September and October there's there's really just nothing or very little not enough for them to put any weight on So, I like to feed them and keep them heavy for this time of year. If I can keep them this heavy until middle of October, then I feel pretty good that they're going to fare just fine for winter. As you can tell, I find whatever rock I can put my hand on to put on the hives, so something heavy to keep the lids on. I'm not sure it's entirely necessary, but I do it. <clears throat> These glue the lids down pretty good, but I suppose it makes me feel better. I can't hardly pull that off without using a hive tool, so I don't think it'd come off on its own. Like I say, these boxes are heavy. And populations are all about the same. They're all looking pretty good. Got one or two that are a little bit light, but for the most part, these are looking pretty good. Once I'm done with the Sapigard treatments, then I'll do another mite wash, see where I'm at. To be honest, I haven't washed a mite all summer long. Not one. And I know I, I know I got mites, but for whatever reason, my mite counts have been really good this summer. And I try to sample at least two hives in every yard every month. 
I don't sample everything every time, but and I don't I try not to sample the same two hives every every time I do it, so I'm getting multiple hives sampled during the year. Somebody texted me and said their, their hives just about attacked them when they got into them. As you can see, these are pretty gentle, no smoke. Um, just get in, do my thing, get out. I'm not in them long enough to really rile them up. I'm not pulling frames out, so that makes a difference. But um, still, I'm cracking the hive, and this is kind of how I expect my hives to behave. Is nice and calm, not overly aggressive. If I can get in treat and do what I need to. Again, a little bit of residue of the apigard on the frames, which is okay. The bees will clean it out. But pretty good population. Those, those are bees side to side. what I like to see. Okay, out of all these hives, this one was the one that was the grumpiest all last year. Done. In and out. That was quick. If I like it.